yeah welcome students today we just uh, see the week number 2 exercise number 3 the question is uh, cricket ball thrown from ground level reaches wicket keeper gloves okay full stop the maximum height reached by a ball is 5 meter so in bracket i have written 5000 mm the ball travels a horizontal distance of 11 meter so that 11000 mm from a point of projection trace the path of the ball this is a question so we need to draw uh, parabolic parabola so when whenever they are throwing something it will be considered in a parabolic shape okay so now they have specified is the height is 5 meter and the horizontal distance is 11 meter so i could not directly draw 11 meter and 5 meter in a4 sheet so that i am using scale so for every 100 mm i have consider for a 1 mm so if i am uh, using that 5000 is a height or 11000 mm is a length or horizontal i am using for example 1110 mm is my convenient so that instead of 11000 for example for an horizontal it is also mm so if i am using it is it is possible to use it's a 11 cm only in a4 sheet we can able to finish similarly this is you see 11000 mm so if i am making it it is this is for this one which we just going to draw and right hand side it's actual so if we are uh, simplifying this and dividing so you can get 1 is to 100 so every 100 mm you are draw drawing for a 1 mm yeah if you have seen you can able to notice in your manual that is a rectangle method rectangle method let it be so so let us draw the rectangle for 11 cm obviously for a horizontal distance obviously the vertically for a 5 cm so 50 mm yeah so let it be so ball it is started from a and towards b so the ball let us assume it is throwing like this it is throwing in this traverse okay let, we just going to find out the path of throwing it so let us fix the vertex point which is top most point for a parabola let it be 5.5 it is totally 11 cm so 5.5 i am considering as a vertex for parabola and i am dividing on axis line for our convenient long dashed dotted okay let it be now the similar manner which we have did to draw an ellipse the same manner we just going to divide in some equal parts okay in some equal parts so let us assume so this is vertex this is let it be origin and this one is p q r yes let it be the rectangle so you have to write the dimensions by using a dimension line this is 50 and this one so you need to specify what you have did here so the scale let it be it's not an issue this is 110 okay so now i am just going to divide the part which is from o to p o to q similarly p to s and q to r so let us divide 
this side it's almost 55 this side is almost 50 so let us divide in five numbers of equal parts so if i am taking one centimeter it divide five numbers of equal part so from p i am making it one two three four when there is a four numbers of intersection there will be a five division five part one two three four obviously this direction also you can make in the same manner it's not an issue this may not be equal but almost it is okay 1.1 1 .1 you can consider so let me check here yeah. 1 2 3 4 let it be this direction also 1 2 3 4 let us name these are all 1 2 3 4 let it be 4 1 3 1 2 1 1 1 4 1 3 1 2 1 1 1 so this direction is uh, let us uh, add dash 4 1 dash 3 1 dash 2 1 dash obviously 1 1 dash and this direction let it be 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash similarly 1 2 3 4 now from vertex we have to focus all the sides initially so let it be so let me join v to 1 v to 2 v to 3 and v to 4 obviously This is V to four dash three dash two dash and one dash. Okay. Now you just erect a perpendicular line. This may be this is smaller. So erect a perpendicular line from four one to four that may be the traced path let it be so it is supposed to be parallel to the cg and let it be this is point number four and if we are connecting up to three this is p3 just erect a vertical line this is p2 sorry there is a mistake Up to here only it is P2. But I have the intersected that over that line. So this is P1, let it be. Similar manner. P1 dash. P2 dash. P3 dash and P4 dash if you are increasing the division you may get better accuracy so let me connect from P to P1 P2 P3 by a smooth circular curve Okay, make it hard. Make it hard. So, this is a parabola from week 2, exercise 3. Okay, thank you.